there's a few additional things that I'm going to do to the carver at this point. I want to build a solar panel rack that goes over the flybridge and front deck that will provide shade to those areas as well as a lot more electrical power for the boat. And the first part of that job is to take the three bimini tops that used to cover the flybridge and front deck back off of the boat. And there's a lot of good aluminum tubing and connecting parts and stuff, so I'm going to save these in my garage. Who knows, they might even be used as bimini tops again someday. For now, I'm going to set them over here next to the garage door till I can clear a spot for them. But by the end of the day, they'll be stored in the garage until I find some other use for them. This is another project, is this deck hatch will be a little door to a locker on the front of the boat that will house the, the chain and rope for the backup anchor. One step at a time, huh? I'm cutting this other piece of plastic to serve as a backer plate where the screws hold this hatch in place. The screws will go through and into this plastic backer plate so that they're into something more solid than the honeycomb core that the deck locker is made of. A circular saw makes the straight cut. And then a jigsaw does the corners. I find that I get straighter cuts with the circular saw, so I do it this way. And because it's easier to make the hole bigger than smaller, I cut it a little bit small and now I'm marking the area to be trimmed to get it to fit the hatch better. Almost perfect. So I'll do another little adjustment. There you go. We'll fit to the hole. Yes, it will. It has to fit through that hole to go on the inside of the locker when the hatch gets screwed on. Nice. And the screws go through and right into Very that. Very nice. So this is where it's going to go.
you can see here that there is no access to this very front section until now. The one just behind it last year had the barbecue grill and charcoal with its basic storage. And the front part is the perfect spot for the anchor road for the backup anchor. So I'm putting butyl tape. I suppose it really isn't that necessary. This isn't going to be that waterproof once I cut a notch for the rope, anchor rope to go through, but I guess in general when you put a hatch through, you put butyl tape to seal the edge. And the boat's been sitting a year and a half, and this beautiful countertop that I made for the back deck has gotten stained and chalky. So I put some water on it, and I'm going to lightly wet sand it with 400 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to put several coats of paste wax on it and that should get it shiny again and I got most of the stains out with the sanding and the wax should protect it for a, a little while let me show you how nice it is This is one of the few things that I did that I actually polished to a glossy finish. And I did that because I thought that it would make this area easier to clean. Whoa, it's gone, the boat. The carver is gone, oh my gosh. Somehow this reminds me of the day Trevor's catamaran was stolen. It was right here. It was right, right here where I'm standing. My boat. Oh man. Now what am I gonna do? Oh. I need a drink. Beer or mimosa? Well, it's first thing in the morning, so mimosa, I guess. So, slightly before that scene, this is what really happened. Jeff came by from Excel Marine in Merritt Island and he's helping me out by towing the carver to the fabrication yard. Excel Marine does mostly real high performance work on speedboats as well as maintaining a lot of people's boats. You can also store a boat in their yard there. Actually, they're just north of 528 on Banana River Drive in Merritt Island.
and they've maintained the engines on the carver and also done other custom work on the boat. So, after a brief check to see that it was safe to tow, this is it, this is just it. We went slow underneath that one set of power lines, and I guess the lower ones are cable TV. Those were the lowest ones between here and the yard. And we cleared that by a few feet. So. And that's it. That's just it. The carver. It's out of here. The next step is, well, there's a short list of things to fix at the yard, but the main thing will be the new solar panel rack.